Hey guys, what is up and welcome to patch 1.41 dev server! Woo! Woo! Yes, patch 1.41 is now officially up and running on the dev server for about three hours. <laughs> so, let's give you a little tour of, uh, of what's new. Um, first of all, uh, premium tanks are now in. Uh, so this is what the premium T-34 looks like for any of you that actually purchased it. Uh, I'm actually going to give you a quick run through of uh, the tank tech trees. Uh, there's going to be a new T, there's a few new premiums. Um, this one, the T-35, multi-turreted uh, tank. Basically, uh, from what I worked out and what War Thunder was saying, each one of these turrets can be controlled. Uh, so you could literally, I think this is going to be the new TOG. Uh, the TOG of War Thunder, because uh, it's a boat and it's got loads of turrets, so it's like a battleship. So yeah, I think that's going to be one that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, to say the least. Uh, you've got your standard or your T26, stuff like that. Uh, new T34 in. Uh, this looks like an extra armoured plated variant. Uh, could cause some trouble for some, for some, uh, for some German tanks, I'm sure. Uh, definitely something to watch out for. 76mm gun. Uh, next one is the T3457 Mod 43. Pretty much just a normal T3457, but with two boxes on the back, from what I can tell. Final one for the for the uh, Russians is the SU-122, but I think it's the one with the BL-10 gun. So yeah, pretty good stuff for premiums. Are there actually any new tanks though? Apart from the IS-4M, which is I, that already may be in game. I'm not sure. Uh, ISU-1, ISU-152 stuff like that. No, it looks exactly the same. Uh, we'll go on to the German uh, Luftwaffe one. Uh, brand new one that I can see straight away. Here she is. Hetz is gonna Hetz. <laughs> so yes, we've got the Hetz brand new in War Thunder now. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. I'm sure a lot of good people are gonna be happy about that. Uh, are there any new ones apart from that? Not that I can see. Let's have a look at this, see if it's got... That's this no, that's not. That's just the eighty, the long eighty-eight. That's on the normal one. Okay, it looks like about it for um for the Germans. Apart from the, this is going to be the Sherman that you're going to be able to get. Uh, all you um people that bought the Sherman pack. Um, big changes that are currently in uh, aviation on the uh, German tech tree. The ME four tens have gone down the tank destroyer line now uh, instead of the two engine fighter line. Um, so the ME410s are here, and there's a new ME262 in game. Uh, it's the ME262 with the 50 mil. Uh, I actually want to quickly show you this in a test flight. Uh, we'll just put in realistic battles because there are new sounds in game, uh, specifically with jet engines. Uh, you're going to notice the difference straight away. So we'll quickly get this in, so I can just quickly, you know, showcase it. But um, you may notice the jets actually sound like jets now, which is nice. Um, so what we'll do, uh, we'll go attack the, um, vehicle over there with 50 mil so I can show you what it's like. Um, I'm probably going to research this myself because this is going to be terrific, but, uh, you know, bomber chaos, stuff like that. Um, I believe it's a, f a fully automatic 50 millimeter as well. So, oh, look and listen to that sound. That is nice. That is a really nice sound, actually. Uh, apparently, from what the patch notes are saying, all aircraft in game have now got its correct flight models. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, after this, once we've uh, had a look in the German tech tree and finished there, I'm actually going to have a look in the um, at the Vampire. I have a look, and the Vampire and the new Spitfires, because that way we can test whether they've got their new flight models and stuff. Anyway, let's uh, test this 50 mil, shall we? Alright, three, two, one. Yeah, this thing's gonna be good. What's the... Yeah, maneuverability's pretty good as well. I mean, two six, new ME262 is pretty good. Anyway, let's uh, quickly back out and have a little look at some of the other stuff um, while we're doing net. Um... What else could we go through? Um, okay, so that's the new ME262 done. Um, 
There are new ME262 here. Uh, two of them, I believe. That's the original ME262. That's the one with the jet engines, I think. And I think this is a brand new one that's in. Yep, this is definitely a new one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this has, you know, what's new about it. I would assume it's the engines because those don't look like the standard. What is that on the back? Is this the one? Ah, oh, I think this is the one with the um, the extra jet engines, isn't it? Okay, that makes sense. Um, you know, the, the, the extra thingy one. Um, but let's have a look on some of the others. Uh, oh, they've swapped. Okay, so B-17s... Okay, so there's an actual bomber line now. Okay, that's cool. Oh, there's a naval line. A naval... What is this? Let's go. Let's have a quick look at this. Whoa. That's new. Let's test fly that. Gotta test fly everything. You gotta test fly, test fly, test, test fly everything. Okay, sorry, I won't do that. Yeah. Okay. Um right. Let's quickly see what this whole thing Oh! Oh new engine sound for the B twenty five. Jesus, Gaijin's been been busy, ain't they? Oh, I like that. I like that sound a lot. Right, let's go attack this vehicle. Um, well, I, did, I guess what we can test as well is whether it can do anti-ship capability. So we'll attack those ships over there. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, right. So I know it's got 50 cows at the front as well, so this thing's going to be pretty dangerous. It's going to be a good bomber hunter. Right, let's attack this guy. Oh, maybe not. But um, so far, it seems that the uh, the 75 mil can't penetrate um, ships at the moment. So what it might be better at is actually an anti-vehicular, so anti-tank weapon. Um, that might be what it's better used at. Uh, but that seems pretty cool. Something that's definitely worth researching at some point. Um, what else have we got that's new? Let's have a look at the Russians. Uh, we already looked at their tree. Um, new Isle 10 by the looks of things. With four 23mm cannons. Jesus. Um, new I-185. And that's about it, all I can see at the moment. Yep, uh, let's have a look on the British tech tree. Oh, a new premium. Ooh. That seems interesting. Definitely something to look out for there. Uh, so how much gold is it? 7,000. That better be good for 7,000. Um, right, let's have a quick look at the vampire flight model, shall we? Uh, realistic battles. Okay, right. Now, this is where we know whether the devs have done something or not. Um, because, apparently, quote-unquote, there's new flight models. So, that should mean that we've got a new flight model for the vampire. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, alright. Looking good so far. Oh, I like the sound. So each jet has got its own individual sound now. How awesome is that? Oh, that sound though. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Whoa, this thing can fly now. Guys. The vampire is good. Alright, this climate of 20 degree. It's sustaining 160 miles per hour in a climb. Guys, they fixed the vampire! <laughs> yes! This thing is going to be worth playing now! Awesome! Alright, let's have a look. Let's see if, what we can max. Alright, let's have a go. Let's, let's attack the vehicle and see what this thing performs like now. 
Let's see what it, let's see what it's like. Speed is very good. Speed is good now. Alright. So that's destroyed. Let's see what it's like going into a vertical. How well does it climb? Pretty well. Guys, they fixed the vampire somewhat. Nice one. Good stuff. Wow. Right, I guess we better test the Griffin Spitfires next. Um, yeah. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, Alright, Spitfires. Ooh, there's new Spits, guys. Ooh. Spitfire Mark 14. Two 50 cal Brownings and two 20 mils. Let's have a look at the Mark 18. Again, two 50 cows and two 20 mils. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Anyway, let's, uh, let's test the Mark 22. Um, because that's what most people are probably interested in. Uh, let's have a go. Let's see if we've got new engine sounds yet, either. Would be nice if we had new engine sounds. Um, let's have a little look. Ah, oh, we haven't got new engine sounds yet, but... Let's see if the flight model's been in, been increased. Okay, well we're rolling now. There's a definite improvement in takeoff. Yep, definite improvement in takeoff. Looking good so far. Yeah, okay. Right, 20 degree climb angle. Yeah, seems alright so far, guys. Yeah. Looks like they fixed this as well. Um, yep, yeah. acceleration seems a lot better. Roll rate, yep, yeah. okay. What's turn time like? Wow, turn time's improved. Okay. Yeah, they've, they've uh, given the Spitfire a correct flight model now as well. Very nice. Um, is there anything else that really needs to be covered apart from the new, the new ways of... Uh, have got any new aircraft? Nope, no British jets yet, of course. Um, everything looks relatively the same there. Um, apart from tank battles now, you can go into tank battles, so you can choose between the two, which is nice. Um, but apart from that, that seems like it at the moment. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button below. Subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder content. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.